हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक अगर आप एक गिटारिस्ट हैं एंड यू हैव ट्राई टू प्ले बॉलीवुड सॉन्ग्स देन चांसेस आर दैट यू हैव प्लेड दिस मैंस कॉम्पोजिशन इनके गिटार रिफ्स इतने आइकॉनिक हैं दैट इफ यू प्ले देम एनी बडी विल बी एबल टू इंस्टेंटली रिकोगनाइज द सॉन्ग दैट यूर प्लेइंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नन अदर दैन एहसान नूरानी फ्रॉम शंकर एहसान लॉय आई वॉज फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टू हैव अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विद हिम एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेक दिस टाइम आउट टू एक्चुअली थैंक एहसान सर फॉर अलाउंग मी टू डू दिस इन्वाइटिंग मी टू हिज होम एंड हैविंग दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन विद मी ये कॉन्वर्जेशन में मुझे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला है एंड आई होप दैट इज द सेम फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो इन दिस वीडियो दैट यूर अबाउट टू वॉच वी स्पोक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ हिज आइकॉनिक गिटार इंट्रोज एंड द इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज बिहाइंड दम होप यू हैव फन This is my conversation with the one and only Asan Orani sir. The whole point of this is just to for me to meet mm. new people and just learn from yeah. them right. So I just want to thank you for doing this and taking the time out today. All I want to do today is just to learn and maybe pass on some of the information uh, yeah. to the viewers who you yeah. can you know they can get any idea yeah. from it. So uh as we were I think t- talking before that would be something really interesting uh. to like what are the songs that you see people doing wrong all the time. Well I guess uh, see the little the little like chord changes and all which are like really tiny, tiny you know you yeah. say that may not make such a big difference but it makes a huge difference yeah <laughs> of course it's like to start with kalona ho ta ra 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 this is a real chord ta ra 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 it's an a minor 9th right you could even replace it with a minor 7 okay you know mm. but i hear a lot of people playing ta ra 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 ta ta ra 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 when they play that right. g it just feels like man the tune is suddenly become like a mercy rhyme you know right, right. <laughs> people have also i hear them play e minor few of them right. this sounds a little more gentle right gentle right. but a minor 9 sounds classy okay. you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah those little, this thing this is one song Then another song is uh, Tere Nena. You know the yeah. the My Name Is Khan version. My Name Is Khan. Yeah. That uh, na 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 And this chord, I hear all kinds of chords. <laughs> And sometimes I just hear G. Ta ra 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 ra. You know what I mean? Right. I don't. Sometimes it right. is difficult to catch on to changes, but I think right. it's very important for right. not to settle for something. You know, when mm. you feel that it is not right, don't compromise it. Right. You know, right. get in something. Maybe ask somebody else, man. What do you think this chord is? You know? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. You know. And I think uh, one of the definitely most iconic songs that I have heard from you, and I see a lot of people trying uh, to play that, uh, is "Kholo Kholo." Yeah. Right. So can you maybe like show me the chords in that also, see, so this I think is, they can I mean, learn. The riff, of course, is. Yeah. So that's the riff. Right. Then after that, tu tu pe hai that part tu tu pe hai. Come say we can. Second time. Okay. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh, right. Hey, <laughs> pretty. You know this sounds pretty, man. Yeah, amazing chord. It just sounds suddenly gives it this width, you know. Right, But right. But you hear right. it in the song, it suddenly becomes very big. Very wide, point. yeah. I love that chord. And when I track the song actually the thing is when I play the riff. So the thing is Shankar said that the riff is not coming clear, you know. So I okay. reinforce it up just. Oh, you hear that double track? If you hear it there's three tracks of guitar. Oh. I'm doing this. I'm doing that at the back. Wow. <laughs> And that is double tracked. Okay. So you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's uh, sometimes you have to do that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. wow. That's interesting. Yeah. That's crazy. But And yeah, that's you were talking I mean. about Mithwa also, right? Uh, yeah, Mithwa, I mean sometimes I like the thing is like uh, you know, you have the uh, Mithwa. Okay, yeah. Kahe tar kare tar se kya. Did you took a Wait, Second what? G at night. 
and then the A I've played that. Oh wow. Wow. Now, now this is not a mistake because you know thing me to sorry my singing is horrible. <laughs> Okay. You know that's correct. Okay. This uh, what I've actually played is this. Wow. So you that sounds so good. Wow. To that, you know, and uh, okay. So even I was wrong here then. Huh. I think I was playing C sharp, huh. uh, then A, huh. and then I went to D. See, the according to the melody, it's not done sound bad. Okay. But your thing is. So you're getting oh. okay. 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 You know. Okay. But I've done this like a whole like a cluster chord like you play on keyboards. Mm. This. Ah. You know. So good. It's a very pretty chord here. So good. <laughs> you hear it on on headphones. You'll be able to hear this part. You know. I love wow. to reinforce uh, a lot of our guitar parts. Mm. You know, with. Uh, with uh, like little things in the back, which will make a difference if you pull it out. Oh! But when it's there, you just it's just feel it, you know. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Like even koila kala hai that. Ha. Right. Now the last chorus. Okay. Got it. I've put that at the back. Oh, you know, and if you hear on headphones, you'll just hear it there. You feel like there has been some change. Right, right, right. In terms of production, you always think, you know, in that kind of. Uh, right, thing. right, right. So, as like a guitarist, how do you deal with a song when it's made so many times? But huh. I'm sure, like you, you are like not uh, confined to just guitar, right? You have to yeah. think of the song as a whole. Of course, of course, right. Of course. But is there some song? Or uh, maybe some album that you remember that was really hard to kind of bring it to the guitar. Yeah, see, I mean, I wouldn't say uh, album, but I think there's songs like say "Koi Kahe." Okay, right. You know, right, like like Shankar right. said, why don't you play some guitar on it? I just couldn't find a guitar part right, to play. Right, right, right. So right. I mean, when I played live, I just do. Okay. Just the bass line. Right. So I just double that because that goes right through. Even though you hear all these changes, but the thing is still going. Correct. Correct. Like even Oof Teri, the most of the dance, the electronic dance songs. But like, where's the party tonight? And it's a time to disco. I I played guitar there. Right, right. Right. You know. It's the time to do. Yeah, nice. These are all 60s, 70s uh, right. guitar parts. You know, when parts you hear the old soul and okay. disco and all that, they used to play these kind of things. Yeah. That immediately like reminds yeah. you of Nile Rodgers or something like yeah, that. Yeah. You know, something like funky. But there's some guitar parts which I came up with, like now in a song like Long the Lashkara ah. from Patiala House. Ah, ah, ah. Where would you expect guitar to come to that song? It's uh, <laughs> right. you know, at full on. But I came up with this part. Okay. Right, 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 right. I was very happy with this part because it sounded really Punjabi in its own way. Right, right, of course. Then there's so many, man. There's so many parts which have come out which you don't expect. Oh. Right. That's a guitar in the beginning. It's not a tumbi. Right, right, right. It's right. not a tumbi. It's a guitar that's been filtered to sound wow. uh, like a tumbi. Wow. That's crazy. So I enjoy doing this kind of part and stuff. Like even this part. Right, right. This part wow. I've come up with. It's on guitar, and then of course layered with different stuff. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that particular one that you played no, was that like a melody that you came up with, and then you converted it completely? Okay. So basically, I was here to ask this question. कि does he come up with those melodic lines on his guitar and जब वो melodic line guitar पे आता है he converts them into the Indianized version that we listen to the song by adding a lot of instruments anyway back to the video अबे रुक रुक तूने उनको बताया क्या अरे यही कि तेरे website पे guitar courses हैं 
बिगिनर के इंटरमीडिएट के गानों के सबके कोर्सेज बनाए गए तेरा गौरव अरे उनको पता है अरे उनको पता है तो फिर ये भी बता ना कि तूने कैसे इन कोर्सेज में रिदम के बारे में बात की है स्टमिंग पैटर्न को सही से कैसे बजाया जाता है उसके बारे में भी बात की है फ्रेड बोर्ड पे नोट कैसे ढूंढते हैं वो भी बात की है हाँ हाँ बता दूंगा और इन कोर्सेज में प्ले अलॉन्ग सेक्शन भी है जिसमें उनको सिर्फ वीडियो नहीं देखना बस साथ साथ में बजाना भी होगा ताकि वो और भी अच्छे से सीख सके बोलना ठीक है बस मैं बता दूंगा तू जा चल ठीक है मैं जा रहा हूँ हाँ हाँ जा मैं चला जाऊंगा तू जा रे completely yeah no i mean i just was literally sitting and fooling around okay. in the studio like i always okay, do i don't okay. stop playing which irritates right. shankar and loy all the time <laughs> you know but when the song was going ka jara re i came up with this is jamming got it wow and this is definitely one of the most iconic parts of the song <laughs> and loy came up with this one Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I even came up with this part. If you remember the song called "Mai Wei." Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. This part also I came up with. Wow, wow, wow. See, the thing is, what happens with the three of us in the beginning? Shankar only used to come up with like the Indian parts. Right, right. We started right. rubbing off each other. So I mean, I started yeah, hearing yeah. parts. Which were Indian parts, wow. but they come out with a bit of a twist because I'm not makes a sense. that kind of Indian classical musician. Correct, you know? correct, correct, correct. That makes sense. And yeah. you know, I was about to ask you like, there is definitely a bit of randomness. Yeah. Like when you three sit together yeah. and like try, try to come up with a song. Yeah. But then, is there like a system that you've come up with as the three of us? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, right? Total chaos. <laughs> That's the system. <laughs> Absolute chaos, just like jamming and like no, let's change this. This thing, Loy will shout at me that man, just let the part breathe a bit. No, you can't bounce it before it's like even right. completed. You know, yeah. Right, right. I definitely heard one of your stories with how you came up with. Uh, I think it was Kal Ho Na Ho, if I'm not wrong, where uh, I think Shankar sir was singing a part, and then you entered. I, I think you just uh, finished the line off with the guitar, right? Are you talking? No, I think you're talking about Mera Yar from. Uh, I th- from uh, Bagmil Khabag, is it that one? I think I heard you say it was one of the most magical moments. Oh, Kal Ho Na Ho, oh, that, that, yeah. the title song. Title song, yeah. Yeah. So basically, Loy came up with this part. Right. I came up with this part. Right, right, right. 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 Also, one more song I'm thinking about. I think is uh, the intro to the song. What do I do? Ah, man, that I find very difficult to play because not I really find that. Because I've never been able to see if I'm playing it the right way. Oh. Actually, the thing is, Shankar has used an older guitar part, which is just. Oh, really? Yeah. But when I played, I, I initially when I played it on acoustic, it was. Got that bounce, no? Mm-hmm. See, the song was influenced by Ma- John Mayer's uh, uh, "Heart of Life." Oh, you okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. that it is that kind of pattern. Right. Now this is what you call using an influence. Correct. It's a pure influence. It's correct. not uh, anything to do with the song. Correct. Correct. But the way he's got that bounce in the guitar, yeah. you know. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm thinking about that song only after you've told me that now. Yeah. I'm like able to like correct it, you know. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Insane. Wow. 
I think there are like just so many like gems. Yeah, these guitar songs. parts. I was just thinking the other day that we've written about 450 songs, <laughs> and I, I don't know how many uh, how many guitar riffs I've written, man. I think I must be holding a world record for guitar <laughs> riffs. <laughs> definitely, definitely, and I think. You have given a lot of Indian guitarists reasons to, you know, impress their girlfriends and significant others because <laughs> these are songs that if you know the riffs of these songs, yeah. then they are instantly recognizable. Yeah, you know? of course. So yeah. that makes the song much more special and yeah. like it's like rock on. I mean, it's oh yeah, all the all the riffs I came up with, yeah. all of them. I see. I think one of the most common riffs that I saw people playing uh-huh. wrong was the पिछले सात दिनों में. Yeah, of course. Right. Because see, because the thing is, it sounds like. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like that. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I remember when we were playing, when we were doing the bass line, okay. Adi, the bass player, he was doing. It. Okay. I said, I don't want that A. Oh. Loy saying, No, man, it's an A. It's an. I said, It's not that. I said, You all are just used to listening to that rock progression, like right. you know. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Right. You're used to that kind right. of thing. So I said, I want that sound to be like a sass sound. Oh. You know. Yes. So the bass line was changed too. Oh. Okay. You know so. Now if you hear the guitar part of the. Right. I've got one guitar part at the bottom going. Oh, at the bottom, like you know. The open yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. But it's very subtle. You can hardly hear it. But again, it Still makes a difference. Oh. You wow. know that layer, yeah. Wow. crazy and i think uh, one of the other songs was aha agar main kahu oh my god that song <laughs> yeah man i told you know the story we end this no we would gone to khandala to compose the music okay like we did laksh i mean we like we did dil chahta hai okay okay yeah so i was literally sitting on the swing doodling you know okay yeah and shankar said that man you would come up with a guitar riff like he remembers all this man i don't know how he remembers it <laughs> But he's saying, man, about two, three weeks ago in the studio came with the guitar riffs. So I said, man, what like blues, you know? Uh-huh. So I was playing all kinds of stuff, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said not that. Not that. Was it like you know? No, 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 nothing like that. So I said, Shankar, I don't know what you're talking about, man. So he said, Annie, just think, think about it, Annie. So I just sat back. Huh. And I heard. He came running. He said, that's the riff. <laughs> I said, "Oh shit! I didn't. I'd forgotten it. <laughs> it just came, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And the thing is that a song like this, you'd expect it to just go, you know, mm. that kind of song, you know. Mm. But the chords are all wild, yeah. You know, right, when yeah, you think yeah. about it, it's like a almost like Latin changes in a, right. you know, in a rock tune, man. उट the aspect of you know what you need to conduct your life yeah. and then still do music yeah yeah right a lot of people the worst case scenario when i've seen people uh, it happen is that people come to mumbai and realize that yeah 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 right so that is a, like a huge thing that they should already know before yeah. they come here yeah, yeah. so what would you say to young adults who are like thinking about doing something in music see first of all the thing is that especially moving to bombay yeah. you know it's a difficult thing you know, yeah. living here and all is very expensive right. it's got even more expensive now from what i read today right so that is the first thing that if you have a place right. then that's a good thing you right. know if you have some relatives or somebody to stay with yeah then uh, the thing is to be kind of very adept i mean see as as much as you may say that i may play for the certain music director and he doesn't need any blues or anything mm. like mm. but when you do know some of that and right. you apply it it really makes a difference you know right right like there's a certain guitar player the other day i mean he's just come back from mi mm. and uh, he he called me up and he said that since you went to mi i want to come and meet you mm. and stuff i met him and he was a beautiful guitar player mm. i introduced him to arijit and now okay. hopefully he'll be doing something with something him with him yeah. you know so the point is but the point is you've got to be good right, you've got right. to be good you've got to be open minded you've got to be very creative mm. Mm. you know because it's not just you know people are looking for input right you know so even if you're playing in a pop song 
which doesn't really need that much guitar. Right. But the point is, you can still be creative mm -hmm. and add a little part at the back, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I've done with so many songs that we've done. Mm -hmm. Which is basically pop, you know, and you'd say that, you know, what, you know, what would be my input in that song. Mm -hmm. But somehow you find li a little part and then yeah. it fits in there and it sounds yeah. really nice. Yeah. Like even a song like Oh Rang Rays, for example, yeah. that could easily be like starting with, uh, with Santur and all, you know. Right, right, right. But right. you know, I came up with... A, So the thing is, you're playing like yeah. chords, you know, different inversions, uh, right. but you're thinking Indian. Indian, yeah. So that takes a certain creative mindset right. to do, you know. Right, right, right. right. So, and yes. that makes a big difference, man. Yeah. You know, I realize that makes a big difference. Yeah. It's like uh, in Kesi you wrote, you know. Yeah. That's the opening, right, you know, the, the, opening. the chords and all, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. But in the flute solo, there's this part which goes from B. Right. F sharp minor, minor eleventh. Yeah. Now the thing is, when you hear this on the on the on the album, mm. it sounds like it sounds like like this. It's the harmonizing happening at the bottom. Okay. You know, always try and figure out that what are the, is it played on a keyboard where there's like using you know two like harm, two different inversions as a stack. Got it. Two so what I did was over this, I just played this. Right. So you've got one extra yeah. thing here. And for the F sharp, I did a similar thing with oh, that, wow. you know, yeah. Oh, wow. So these two things, it, you have all these forts. Right. Which, and forts always sound very good, you know, what do you call? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. The quart, what do you call quartals? Right, right, right. You know, right. which are used in jazz and all a lot. Okay, no? got So it. that thinking, you're applying all that kind of thinking to like a Hindi song. Hindi song, exactly. Which makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like what you've shown is like how to be creative and, you know, even where there is no scope of guitar, you somehow think of something. Yeah. So that's, that's, I think, something that we can all learn from and, you know, always have a creative mind open yeah. and always try to do something. So keep telling guitar players, listen to all the stuff, you know, of listen course. to all the stuff. Of you course. can't, you can see, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But don't start your guitar playing at John Petrucci. I mean, start, <laughs> right, right. listen to John Petrucci, then go, go yeah. backwards, go backwards. 100%. See what John Petrucci will have to say about Andy Summers. He'll say he's a killer guitar player. Of course. You know? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, definitely. I think a lot of things that we can change is just by changing who we listen to. Of course, man. Yeah. Makes a big so, difference. Yeah, 100%. So again, thank you so much for giving no me man. your time. Pleasure. First, we'll do it the way it is. Okay. And then I'll do it like, suppose I was a second guitar player playing on this song. Oh, okay. That, you playing that'll the main be great. Yeah, that'll, be play, great. Yeah? that'll be great. So for the, let's start it together. Main riff, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Two, three, four. I'm gonna play like I'm on the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. You know what I mean? That's insane. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Now here, <laughs> I'm holding this inversion that oh. covers the E minor, covers the G, right? And then go to A. Yeah, so yeah, do it yeah. again. One, two, three, four. Wow. So this is the thing is in the studio also when, when I play, I do it this way, you know, it's just trial and error, mm. trial and error, mm. trial and error till I get it right. Wow. You know, I'm not one of those guitar players who goes and nails it like, oh man, solo in one shot. Right. Nothing. No, I'm not that way. There are guitar players who do that. Right. Oh, man. There's some killer like Warren and all that. Can right. Just go, right. Tuck. Rhythm wow. show and all. One take, solo. <laughs> I'll take a long time, but right. I like to craft it out. Right, right, more, right. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not really like a metal guitar player or, of you course. know, like, like a Michael Landau. Right. Can play that can so I have right. to craft a solo then. Got it. You know Got that it. kind of thing. But like Pichle Saadino was like nailed in one mm, take. Mm, mm, then mm. Zerile, which is yeah. a solo which I surprises me even now. <laughs> like. How I played it, man. <laughs> but that came in one take, yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. And the engineer said, let's keep it. 
I was going to get someone like Floyd or you know Rupert, one right. of the metal guys, right, right, to come right, and right. play it, man. And right. I said, he said, since you're plugged in, do one take, no. <laughs> I did a take and it came out okay, man. I said, well, let's oh, wow. keep it. Shankar came and said, who's the solo player? I said, sweet. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. Actually, we've got so many other songs which we don't do live, which I think we should do, but... Mm. Yeah. Insane. Thank you so much, sir. No, man. This was amazing. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Amazing. Absolute pleasure. Yeah.